good day all and we have some problems here we are going to solve and we are required to simplify the following expressions and the expressions i think by look of things the questions are all simple and straightforward you see but there are little things we need to take note of and before we attempt to solve these problems i just want to to let know to the learners and the students and as well as some uh, followers to note these basic points so in this case there are certain logarithmic rules we need to move it we need to know when solving complex because this problem seems to be complex but, uh, but they are not complex they are very simple and straightforward the moment you do the logic by eye contact you can just look at the problems you say oh this answer for this value is five this answer for this is ten or this answer for this is this by eye contacts but before you you used to the eye contact you can able to look at a particular question and and you tell the result for that you must able to know the rules involved in different topics or in each of the topics that I think you come across now if we start for the first point if we take note of let's say change of base i hope you have come across that we have if we have log a base b if we use the change of base it simply means we interchange the logarithmic number to the base we are in the base to take the logarithmic number space and the, the base will move to the other value so since we have log a base b it's simple from this a will take the place of b and this b will take the place of a we simply refer to the change of base so how will the result be so it's going to be the, the fractional value of one upon log since here is a is going to be the base and this b will move take the space of the log so this is what you mean by change of base Similarly, if we have log m is n the same way, we have the reciprocal of 1 upon log n is m. So this is what we mean by change of base. So these are little things we need to take note of for real. Now, if we consider other basic points we need to solve this problem. Now, if we have a raised to power log b base a, look at the question. Look at the term. We have this single term. And the term reads a raised to the power log b base a. You can see that this a and this a, they are the same. By eye contact, the answer for this term is going to be b. No waste of time. Unless if this base and this base are not the same. If the two bases are the same, just take the, log the logarithmic number as your result. So this is another second point I want you to carefully take note of. Other way, let's say, we have something like 10 raised to the power log 10 ax squared plus bx plus c. This 10 is the same as this 10. So they are the same. So the answer is going to be this. So the result for this value is just going to be ax squared plus bx plus c. We have to take note of that. We have to take note of that. I see. These are little things we need to take note of without wasting time. Just look at the, the term given. Or the or the value given and you tell what's going to be the result in another way let's take of the the, the log, logarithmic series if we take logarithmic series let's say the exponent of lean k is the same thing just similar to what we have done here so the answer is just going to be k you see if we have again e raised to the power lean k raised to the power b the answer is just going to be this. Just say k raised to the power b. So this is how we move it. Logarithmic series. Logarithmic series, if the exponential of this, because what we have to take note of here, you know, the base of 1, the exponential of lean. Right? If we, because we all know that lean 1 is what? Is 0. It's just like when you have log 1, this 1 is 0. So if you have lean what, you need to take note of this certain value. If you have lean 1, just know that the answer is totally 0. If we have lean E, you just know that the answer is 1. Because this lean E is just like you have log E base E, which is 1. The log of the same to the same of the number is 1. You see? So if you have log 1, V is same as log 1 base 1 and when always the log has a value of 1 always the answer is 0 so the meaning of this is the same as this the meaning of this is the same as this so there are little things we need to carefully note down so moving forward what else again we need for to solve these four problems 
Another point again, how we can solve, instead of to reduce two or three steps, let's say if we have logarithm of log b, b super, b, let's say, k raised to the power 1 upon 3. You see the concept? Log b, k raised to the power 1 upon 3. This power, it will automatically move here. But definitely, it's going to be the reciprocal of that value. So since here is 1 upon 3, instead of going to be 1 upon 3, it's going to be only 3. So it's going to be 3 log b base k. So I want us to take this little point. Again, let me just write other similar example. If we have log m base n raised to the power 7 upon 3, you know, we have 7 upon 3 here. So it's going to be this 3. When this number moves here to this coefficient of this log, it's going to be 3 divided by 7 log m base n. I think these are tricky parts we need to take note of. I think with, with regards of this point, you should be able to solve a to d, right? If this is captured, let's move forward. There's another point again I want you to take note of. Maybe you, if you look at these problems, you cannot be able to see it directly with your naked eyes. <laughs> Unless maybe you might use another way. But let me just simplify that. If you have a raised to power m plus n, you know, you can separate the base by, since the sign is plus sign, we multiply them. If we have a minus sign, we divide them. It's the same thing here. We have this value 5.8 raised to the power log of 10. So if we need to separate because we have this number as a power. We also have this number as a power. So in this case, we are going to separate this number separately to this power. Sim similarly, this again is going to be separated separately with this number. So, it is, so these problems are very simple and straightforward. So I think we start with the first problem. If we start with the first problem, the first problem reads 2 raised to the power log 15, 2 root 2. Yeah, but this 2 root 2, we can simplify it. I hope we can recall from other in logarithmic form. This 2, we can move it inside. It becomes 4 times 2, and the result becomes 8. When it moves inside, it's going to be 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. And 4 times this 2 is going to give us 8. And this 8, in terms of exponents, by repeated multiplication, it can be written as 2 raised to the power 3. So this earth automatically becomes a 2 raised to the power 3. But you know, this value, we call it as radical. I, some people call it as radical, while some people call it as root, uh, as sod. Some people call it as square root. It depends to which name that suits you. So this radical is half, which is this. So this can be written as 8 root per half. We know this 8, it can be written as 2 root per 3. So the end of the result is going to be 2 root per 3 times half, which is 2 root per 3 upon 2. You see? So these are little things we need to take note of. So the value of 2 root 2 can be written as 2 root per 3 upon 2. So if we move to that, so this log can be expressed. Because the reason why we should simplify this 2 root 2 because we cannot say this base is the same as this base. Here is 2 root 2, here is only 2. So this gives us a reason to simplify this further. So this will be log 2 raised to the power 15, and this is going to be 2 raised to the power 3 upon 2. You see that? So in simple form, this will be 2 raised to the power. You know, as I said, this 3 upon 2 will move here, so it's going to be 2 raised to the power, 3 upon 2 will be 2 upon 3, log of 15 base 2. Now we can cancel, since the bases are the same, we can say the answer is this. But we have something that disturbs us here, this coefficient of the log. We have to remove it and transfer it here. So if we move this value, so it's going to be 2 raised to the power log, 15 raised to the power 2 upon 3, because when you move it, it becomes as a power base 2. So clearly, you can say this and this they are the same. So the answer is going to be the power, which is the log of 50 raised to the power 3 upon 2. You see? If we further simplify it, it's going to be 50 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 1 upon 3. See that? And no, 1 upon 3 is a radical in this form. It's going to be the cube root of 15 square, which is 15 times 15, which is going to give us 2 to 5. So... This is the result for this first problem. So the answer for this is equivalent to 
the cube root of 2 to 5. Simple and straightforward. You see? So this is it. So if we consider the second part, the second parts of the questions given, the second part here, we have 5.8 raised to power log of 10 is 5.8, another power which is plus 1. You see? This again is very simple and straightforward. As I said, if you have a raised by m plus n, this is going to be a raised by m times a raised by n. You get that? So we can simplify this to the power this, multiply by this to the power this. So in simple form, we have 5.8 raised to power this log, 10 base 5.8, times, we take in this base, which is 5.8 raised to power this power, which is y. <laughs> So now we can say this for this base and this base, two bases, they are the same. So therefore, the answer is just going to be this value, which is 10 multiplied by 5.8 raised to power 1 is 5.8, and 10 by 5.8. So the answer is going to be 58. So this is the result for the second part B. I hope things are moving. So if we take the third part of B, Question C, we have it to be 8 which to the power log the cube root of 1, 2, 1 plus 1 upon 3. I think this C part is just similar to what we have done. The B part is almost the same principle. We have this base and we have two powers. So it's going to be this base raised to, power, raised to this power and this base also raised to the power. So the other point, we simplify the given terms. So we say it, consider this term raised to power log, but this cube root, we can write it in index form or in power form as 1 upon 3. Multiply by, we take it raised to power this other related power. I think this is the first point. If we move forward, you know, here the base given is 2 here. Yeah, we left it out. The base given here is 2. But in this case, this base 2 is not the same as this 8. So we need to find ways in which this 8 is going to be equivalent to 2 as here. So we find the repeated number of 8, which is 2 raised to power 3, because 2 by 2 by 2 is going to give us that. And we rewrite our log, log 1, 2, 1 raised to power 1 upon 3, base 2, multiply by this 8 again, can be written as 2 raised to power 3, times 1 upon 3. Here I can see this 3, we cancel this 3. Simple. Here, okay, this and this, they are the same. We can cancel them. But in this case, we have a coefficient here for this log, so we can only leave it here. So we have to move it to bring it to this point. So if we bring it, it's going to be 2 raised to power log, 1, 2, 1 raised to power 1 upon 3, times this 3, which is this. So you can see this power, we cancel this power. And times 3 cancel 3 is going to be 2 raised to power 1. Here now we can see these two and these two they are the same. So the answer is just going to be this value, which is 1, 2, 1, multiplied by 2 is by 1, which is 2. So 1, 2, 1 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. So the final answer is 2, 4, 2. Therefore, this value, its answer is 2, 4, 2, when it is carefully simplified. So moving to the last part of the question, I think, this D part is the most simplest. Is the most simplest. We just have to take our time carefully to have the final result. So we'll take the last part of the questions, which is 81, right? Raised to the power 1 upon log 3 base 5 plus 27 raised to power log 36 base 9 plus 3 raised to power 4 upon log 9 base 7. I think this is it. So to simplify this as it's given, 81 raised to power log raised to power 1 upon log 3 base 5 plus 27 raised to power log 36 base 9 plus 3 raised to power 4 upon log 9 base 7. Carefully, if we observe the terms given, 
let's consider the base before we consider the normal numbers. We have log 3 base 5 here. We also have log 36 base 9. We also have log 9 base 7. So if we look at the bases, the base for this log is 5. The base for this, for this log is 9. The base for this log is 7. 7, 9, and 5, they do not match, and we try to match them up. We try to find ways for them to be similar. But if we recall, 3, 9, and this 9, they match up. This simply means we have to do change of base here for this 3 to take the place of 5 and 5 move up. For, so we can have 3 here, 9, 9 and 3, they match because 9, we can simplify it as 3 squared. Similarly, 9 and 7 here, we can say 7 move up to the 9 and 9 take the, the, the space of the base. So 9, 9, 3, it's, it will be easy for us to tackle that. So if we solve, I think that's the first point, 81. If we change, do change of base, no, we are going to have fraction like if you have log A base B, change of base is going to be 1 upon log B base A. This will move up. So here you do, since we have a fraction, so definitely this will just move up. It's going to be log 5 base 3. Plus, we consider 27. Here again, this, this, there is no need for us to make change of B because we, what we need is exactly what is given. 9 plus, and this 3, we don't need this 7, move it up. So if we move it up, 9 columns are going to be reciprocal of 9, 7, this 9. I think this is the first point. <sighs> Moving to the second point again, let's observe. Let's do our observation. 3 and 81, totally different. We cannot say they are satisfied. 27 and 9, they are totally different. We cannot say the answer is 36. 9 and 3, they are totally different. We cannot say the answer is 7. So by doing this, we find ways or a way of making the two bases to be the same, this other base to be the same, this other base to be the same. We use repeated multiplication. So repeated multiplication, this 81, we can write it as 3 raised to the power 4. Because 3 raised to the power 4, it implies 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 7, 3 will give us 81. So this 81, this 81 is equivalent to 3 raised to the power 4. And we rewrite this number log 5 base 3 plus. Also, we take the repeated value of 27, which is 3 raised to the power 3. And we rewrite log 36 base 9 plus 3 raised to the power. Here, we have to do. Here again, we, we can just leave it like that, 4 log 7, and this 9 is just going to be as 9. Leave it like that. So we have this 4. So the next point, we can see 3 and 3 are the same, but we have before here. This coefficient, we need to remove it. Also, 9 and 3 are different. 9 and 3 are different. So find ways to make these two numbers to be the same. So if we make this, those two numbers to be the same, we rewrite this 4, we can move it up. So say log 5 raised to the power 4 is 3, plus this 3, we can move it up, or we can leave it there, say 3 log 36, base this 9, same as 3 squared, plus 3, 4, log this 7, and this 9, is same as 3 squared. I think they are going smoothly. So this 3 and this 3, they are the same. We can say the answer for this is 54. Uh, it's 5 raised to the power 4. You see that? Plus 3. Because these 3 and these 3 are the same. But in this case, we have an index. So this index will move here. You know, this index is 2. When it's moved, it's going to be fractured. So it's going to be 3 upon 2 log of 36 base, base 3. Plus this again will move. It's going to be 3 raised to the power 4 upon 2 log 7 base 3. You see, so now we can say 3 and 3, they are the same. We can take the, what is required. 3 and 3, they are the same. We can take what is required. But the only point we have here now, this power, this coefficient of this log, and also this coefficient of this log. So this value, this coefficient, two values for this, both of the, those logs must be removed. If we remove the coefficient of those logs, so let's see what we are going to have. We maintain this number, which is 5 raised to the power 4, plus, if we move this number here, so it's going to be 3, raised to power log. Don't mind if we have 36 raised to, because this coefficient, when we move it to the log, it's going to be the power of that value. 36 raised to power 3 upon 2, good, plus, we take this other number, which is 3 raised to power log, and again, but 4 divided by 2 is 2, so when we move it, it's just going to be 
7 raised to the power 2 raised to 3. You see how simple and straightforward. So now we maintain this number 5 raised to the power 4 plus here is base 3. This and this they are the same, so we take the power, the, this number, the logarithmic number as the result. This again, 3 and 3 they are the same, we take the number as the result. So this is how we simplify them. So 5 raised to the power 4 implies. 5 raised to the power 4 implies 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. But 5 times 5 is 25, and 5 times 5 is 25. If we multiply 5, 25 times 25 will be able to give us 6 to 5. So the answer for 5 raised to the power 4 is 6 to 5 plus 36 again becomes 36, let's say 36 is the same as 6 squared. But you know, we have 3 divided by 2, which is the same as times 3 upon 2. So 2 will cancel 2. So it's going to remain 6 raised to the power 3. Plus 7 squared is 49. You got that? So 6 to 5 plus 6 raised to the power 3 implies repeatedly multiply 6 by 3 times, which is 6 by 6 by 6. And 6 times 6 is 36 times 6 times 36 now you're going to give us something like 216 yeah it's 216 so 6 to power 3 is 216 plus 49 so we have this one so for us to have the final answer now we add 625 plus 216 plus 49 if we do that 625 plus 216 plus 49 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 5 is 20 in that 2 that's 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 1 7 plus 2, 9, and 6 plus 2, 8, so 890. So the final answer is 890. So the final answer for this log is 890. Thank you all and stay blessed.